Okay, guys, so in in today's video, wait, it's bright outside. Um, I'm gonna be going over some stuff. Yesterday, I filmed a video on setting this all up, and I didn't like the video at all. I mean, I just, it was like 12 minutes long. It's kind of boring and stuff. I figured today, for today's video, I could either make this into two videos of me explaining this, doing some other stuff, or I could make it like one long, it'd probably be like 30 minutes, I think I'm gonna do two separate videos and then upload the fish video on Sunday. But basically, oh yeah, getting fish for that pond. That's what I mean when I say the fish video. I think I'm gonna get three to four inch butterfly koi for it. Um, they're about six ninety nine. Maybe they're dom they're dom three to four inch domestic koi. They'll grow up to be about 24 inches long, which will be perfect. But this is what I set up yesterday. Um, as you can see, it is it's a pretty big tank. It's around 300 gallons. Um, here's We have one overflow right here. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be putting another one of those on, but I'm going to be putting it down here. So basically, this is my filter canister right here. I have this all caulked off and stuff. And I actually filled this up last night and it worked fine. But basically, how I threaded this is I have this one inch hose barb on here. And I basically, I drilled a hole in there. I drilled a five eighths inch hole in. Heated up the plastic with a torch. And then um, put silicone, roofing silicone, which is what I use on here too. And this stuff. It doesn't say like it's meant for like aquariums or stuff or anything, but it works really well. It's like water ready. So I basically put this on and I could fill this up and had it running because it's meant like if you had like a leak in your roof, you could just put it on really fast and it would um uh, like seal the leak instantly. But yeah, so that will come out here. And at that fish place today, I'm going to be buying a pump along with the koi. And the pump is going to either sit, I'm thinking about actually setting it underneath, underneath there, but I'm definitely going to need to get some more of this hose. And this will basically sit under there like that. Actually, if I put that, and I have the pump sitting under there, and I have, I actually won't need any more, because if I have the pump sitting under there and it connects like right about that, I'll have enough hose to come over here, drill through that, and have that, the outtake will be on the bottom. Easily, but we're going to be actually either putting bait fish in here. Um, This is actually, if you watch Dalton's video, the tour of his house, he actually built one like this. I built one of these about a year ago, and his dad saw it. His dad was over here the one day, and he saw that I had one like it, and he's like, that would probably be a really good idea for fishing. I could just keep bait and stuff in there. At the time, I just had a pet bass in here. His name was Oscar. But anyway, he built one. His looks, like, a lot better than mine. He put, like, a lot of time into his. Mine's just kind of there. <laughs> I mean, I put this on here, so it doesn't look horrible. But, yeah. I think mine actually might be a little bigger than his, too. But, yeah, I think I'm going to eventually maybe next year maybe even this year get a new one of these because as you can see i had another i had a black tank and i had this thing sitting right over here and i had a black tank over here and i had the pump it would cycle it up out and bring it over through this hole right here and we had a waterfall and i actually sold him dalton's dad the pump that um he uses for his because i wasn't planning on setting this up but now i guess i'm just gonna buy a new one and it'll be fine but, yeah, so, we're probably going to go, I don't know, I might try and go catch a bass for this today. Now, I got to drain it. So, I'm going to drain this, and I'll get back to you guys when I'm draining it, and I have the parts for this. So, I don't have the proper fittings to um, uh, actually drill the hole in the bottom. So, I am going to be actually doing a little bit of structure building. Here's the flower garden. I think I already showed this in one of my videos, but it's actually done pretty good. This lettuce, I don't know if you remember, but it was all like wilted and stuff. 
It's actually starting to perk up pretty good. Same with this stuff. It's actually growing a lot. This is starting to get flowers on it. It's a good sign. This is starting to perk up too. This is growing upwards. I don't know if you remember, but it was just kind of flat. These guys, they're not, they're looking about the same. But that guy, he's got some more leaves on him, and those look a lot bigger. But yeah, so basically, I, when I had the, had the, um, uh, tank up, it had all these rocks in it right here. And this morning, I actually moved these rocks, because they were all just laying in the grass. So I'm going to move these rocks back down to the, um, uh, pond. I'm going to start building like a little bit of structure and stuff. So I'll get back to you guys when we have these rocks back down at the pond. So we've got some of the rocks down here. I'm going to start scaping in here with these rocks. I got some grass over there and there. I might use that somewhere in there. Or I might put that in here. Not sure. But yeah, I think I'm going to set up a time lapse of me scaping this. So roll the time lapse. Okay guys, so we are back, and I guess I'll do a quick rundown of what I basically did. So I basically put a wall on the back right there, and I put sort of a cave over here. I don't know. I might, I'm out of rocks right now. I might get some more and put them in there, but basically I put a little place. Bait fish can hide back in there. They can hide in these rocks and stuff so that the bass won't eat them all. Or if I end up putting, like, rock bass or something in here, they just feel a little more comforting. They can, like, sit, like, a crack right in there and right there and stuff, and you can just hide out. But I'm actually going to take this moss right here. I'm not sure what this actually is, but I'm going to be taking this, yeah, that, and I'm going to put it in the actual tank, or at the actual filter. And this should help. Oh, we got another piece. This should help um, help filter, you know, it's, like it'll be like a river system sort of because you know how rivers have live plants and creeks have live plants all through them. You know, those live plants catch all, catch bad stuff like, um, like they'll filter out a lot of the CO2 in the water, that sort of thing, and they'll also like be a spawning bed or um a, a breeding bed for beneficial bacteria that's what i'm looking for i'm just gonna close this valve real quick and we're gonna start filling this back up and who knows in this video we might go catch a fish yet i'm not sure um and put in here, actually no I won't, because I have to get the materials to drill a hole in the bottom yet. But, yeah, um, I, I think this is where we'll end the video for today. I'll probably post this video today, which is Saturday for me, and me actually getting the fish and stuff will be Sunday's video, and then Monday's video might, yeah, Monday's video I'm not sure what we'll do on Monday's video. But Sunday's video, make sure you come back Sunday to um, watch the video of us getting the fish and stocking the pond. Um, we might also catch a bass and put in there on Sunday's video. But yeah, thank you guys for watching The Good Show. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one.